Kontoisi Zoe Military Veterans Association's conference last weekend uh, got off to a turbulent start but ended on a good note at the East London's International Convention Centre. It was held under the theme Renewal, Unity, Welfare and Discipline. Delegates achieved few initial objectives. No leaders were elected. Well, let's discuss this now with ANC's NEC member, who's also the chairperson of the Peace and Stability Subcommittee of the National Executive uh, Committee of the ANC. That's Mr. David Mashlobo. Mr. Mashlobo, good afternoon. Thank you very much uh, for your time. So I understand from the reports I've seen, and you also being quoted in other media, that uh, this was uh, considering where the MKMVA's challenges were in the past, was a success somehow of a conference. Well, uh, thank you very much, uh, Braden, and to all your viewers across the length and breadth of our country. Firstly, I want to join other fellow citizens in our movement to convey our sincere condolences to the family of Goldit Grady that uh, lost his daughter through that heinous murder that was committed in Bumalanga, including those comrades who were brutally killed in the Eastern Cape in the Nelson Mandela Bay. And we were very pleased that the Minister of Police is prioritizing these issues and the perpetrators, uh, uh, pretend they should be brought to book. Well, we are correct. The conference uh, of uh, the ex-combatants of Umkondo Wesizwe, they were able to come under one roof after a very difficult period, wherein in 2016 this community was divided. That culminated into different um, uh, groups, having two conferences and having two structures, and the ANC NEC was actually instructed by the conference, the 54th National Conference, to unite this community, but more importantly, to attend to their issues of social economic needs, also attend to the issues of preservation and protection and promotion of their culture and heritage, because every nation that cares about itself, it must honor those who fought for freedom Others, they laid their, their lives, which was the ultimate price they were supposed to pay, were able to come in in the Eastern Cape for the first time. Our comrades, they came together as one organization under one roof. Indeed, there were challenges around logistical issues. We never started well. But ultimately, after we have lost more than a day, that conference was opened by His Excellency Comrade Titi Mabosa, the Deputy President of the ANC. After that, we were able to adopt the credentials, we were able to receive reports, and more importantly, those comrades under one roof had an opportunity to receive an interim constitution because there was, it was important the principles of a constitution and an interim constitution to be adopted. They went to various commissions where a number of issues were discussed. One of the issues they discussed is an important role that must play in the life of the ANC because the ANC, our movement, has a number of challenges. Therefore, because these comrades were not only trained militarily, but they were also trained politically. That's why the principle of 80% political uh, uh, development and also the 20% okay. of military yeah, so, an important so Mr. component. But yeah, Mr. Mashobo, just to come in there, we don't have a lot of mm. time, but uh, we get the context. It, it, it succeeded, although there were challenges uh, logistically, including the fact that some people walked out, but some of them then came back. You say there's an interim constitution. This interim constitution is to create what body? When the body has been created, the organization that delegates that were them, this organization, which is unified, is now referred as Umkondo Wesizwe Liberation War Veterans. It's a decision that they've made. And that interim constitution makes a provision that there is an interim structure. And at the end of the conference, when His Excellency Comrade President Cyril Ramaphosa addressed the conference and made the recommitment of government and the ANC to work with them, an interim leadership was actually appointed the delegates through the generation as a culture of the ANC, they were able to go through detachments, and each detachment, it actually nominated three people to represent them. There are nine detachments there, but at the very same time, each province 
uh, where these uh, comrades are coming from, they were able to elect two comrades. There is a structure, but it also has gender representation. Okay. That particular structure is a term of office of not more than two years, where they will handle certain issues of the finalization of a final constitution, work with government to deal with all these other issues that will deal with social economic needs of all the veterans. So, 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 we'll be so, supporting them yeah. as the NDC. So very briefly, there's a two-year time period under which the interim constitution will have to become a, a, a permanent constitution and where there'll be permanent leaders chosen for this new. Okay, so we're going to have to leave it there. Thank you very much, Mr. Matrobo. We've got another story on the go.